you guys are playing with the Fork tonight. Is there any difference for you when the roof is open and closed? Any more comfortability? We haven't had the roof open in a while because um, it's so hot here in Texas, but uh, it should be fun. I mean, you get to look up and see the sky instead of the roof. That's really the only, the only difference. Other questions? Well, back to the left. Josh, how would you assess your postseason performance? <laughs> um, it's been all over the place. I've had some good games. I've had some games where I didn't touch a baseball. Defensively, I've made some plays. I've had some plays I wish I could have back. Um, I'd say it's been fun. Um, these environments have been crazy. Um, the way we've been playing, too, has been awesome. Um, just trying to keep it going. To your right, Andrew. This is your, uh, this is your first playoffs, and you mentioned the crazy environment. How do you kind of stay relaxed and stay calm in moments like this and in games like this where it's a lot of energy and probably different than what you experienced in the regular season? Uh, the big thing I keep trying to tell myself is leave the emotions for the fans. Um, the ups and downs, let them scream, get quiet, whatever. Um, let them do all that, and for me, just breathe um, and have fun. It's still a game. It's still the same game we've been playing all year. Um, the only implication, I guess, is you know you lose, you go home. Questions for Josh? <coughs> A lot of the guys that are having an impact are younger guys, right? guys who have never played in the playoffs before. What's that kind of like to see a bunch of you guys, like you know, Joe and I, Evan Carter, a lot of you guys have make the impact that you guys are at this point in the playoffs? I had a lot of experience in college, uh, not to the same you know, scheme, I guess, with fans and stuff like that. I think we ran out 5,000 in Lubbock, um, let alone in Baltimore, we had like 46 plus. Um, but for us, like making an impact early, I think it just shows kind of the poise. Um, that the veterans kind of have instilled in us, you know, down the stretch. Even in those games in Seattle, I know we were tense and tight, but you, you didn't really see it in the locker room. Uh, we were still going about our business the same way. Um, and I think that's kind of what leads to success in the postseason is like not making it more than it is, if that makes sense. And I think that's kind of the lesson we all learned in Seattle. Question for Josh, right here. And what kind of role have Marcus and Corey played for you guys, younger players, since they have a little, since they have a little bit more experience, experience in the playoffs? I mean, yeah, you got two guys in the middle of the infield that have, you know, kind of done it all. Um, can't say thank you enough to those guys for just the role models they are, the people they are, uh, the impact they've had on all of us. And I think just through their words, um, through their actions, through their routines, how consistent they are with, you know, the person they are on the field off the field um, has kind of taught everybody in the locker room, let alone just us, um, how to go about playing 162 and then so far in the postseason. The back left with Dave. Uh, you mentioned the games in Seattle and the difference or what you guys learned from that. If you could maybe expand on that just a little bit, was there a, a difference in the way you guys were thinking about those games versus how you're approaching things right now? I mean, I presume that'd be the case. Yeah, I mean, in Seattle, we knew what was on the line, or at least going into Seattle, we knew what was on the line, win two games, win the division. Um, and I think that kind of, I don't know, made us press a little bit. That's kind of what it felt like from my point of view uh, when we were there. And I think that's the biggest lesson we learned coming out of there is like, you don't play good when you, you put so much emphasis on one at bat or one, let alone one game. Um, and we didn't perform there. Like their pitching staff pitched really well. And you could tell we were pressing a little bit. And I think that's when we got on that flight from Seattle to Tampa, uh, we were all frustrated. But I think that's kind of what we all took from it is just like relax, just go up there and try to win this at bat. Don't make it more than it is. Don't try to play hero ball. Um, just win pitch to pitch. Yesterday in here, Corey said that he thought you were snubbed for a gold glove nomination. I'm curious what you've done to really ramp up your defense and really become that vacuum, as he said. <laughs> well, those are kind words from Corey. Um, but I mean, it's just going into the offseason, going into spring training, the emphasis was just to do everything I could to take base hits away from the other team. Um, still learning. It's still 
baseball, you're still trying to figure stuff out. Like the Maldonado's yesterday, I wish I could have had. And then it's in hindsight, you know, get down with it, get dirty. Um, but other than that, it's just just learning how to play the game, just making sure that I'm on time with my steps. Um, that was probably the biggest emphasis going into spring training was making sure no matter what, I'm on time um, as that ball is crossing uh, the hitting zone. Kind of where you look with your gaze, like for a third baseman, my gaze is out in front of the plate because if they're going to hook it towards me, they're going to hit it out in front of the plate, not necessarily you know, on the plate or behind. Um, but just those little things, those little details I've worked with um, Ragsdale on pretty much all year. And even like pregame in my work, it's it's a big emphasis. It's not like we're going out there taking 50 ground balls, but it's like those 12 ground balls I take. It, that's the big emphasis on that one. A question for Josh. Oh, dear about Josh. How was the atmosphere in the crowd last week against the Orioles and then last night? I mean, yeah, it, it's a crazy crowd. It's loud, um, and you love that, uh, especially playing at home. The crowd can get you back into it, uh, especially last night. We got punched in the mouth. Um, you know, it's Houston's job is to come in here and try to quiet the crowd, and for us, it's everything we do to keep them loud. Um, and I think just playing in those environments, it's a lot of fun, um, especially when you're at home. We've only had, what, two home games uh, this postseason so far? But yeah, the, the crowd has been electric, and you just can't wait to keep playing in front of them. Standing up, riser back left. As we get deeper into the playoffs, a lot of unexpected things happen. Musicians attend games, <laughs> former players. Anything <laughs> so far happened that you thought, wow, that's pretty cool? I mean, seeing how kind of all the teams have brought back former players to throw out first pitches, I think is pretty cool. Um, yeah, seeing Creed and Stands last night was pretty cool. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm sure the further you go, you see some pretty cool things. And I mean, you look up on the Jumbotron and see all that kind of stuff, you're like, wow, it is really cool. Um, just kind of being a baseball junkie, seeing all the former players throw out first pitches, that, that's pretty cool. Anything else for Josh? All right, Josh, thank you.